Okay, so we're at Viking Aircraft Engines. We're gonna replace this propeller uh, with a, hopefully a newer design and maybe better, or maybe worse. We'll have to see what happens. And the owner of the airplane is? Michael Martin. Hey, Michael, and uh, what kind of an aircraft is this? This is a Czech Republic ATEC 322 FEDA. It is uh, 11 years old, and uh, the new ones actually have windows in the back and are all carbon fiber. This one actually has the cowling is fiberglass and the spinner is fiberglass. Of course, that's about to be replaced. But uh, just a little two-place Rotex 100 ULS engine. Okay. And uh, it only burns around 110 knots, about 3.2, 3.3 gallons an hour. Okay, and we you, you just did a run-up, uh, and what was your static RPM, uh, the way it's set up right now? 5,150 RPM. Okay, and then, uh, well, what is, do you know what your cruising speed of the airplane is, what you normally cruise at? Uh, normally, I, I set it at 5,000 RPM. Yeah. And when I do that, it gives me, depending on the density and everything, anywhere from 108 to 114, 16 knots. Okay. This Viking is now a genuine Duke dealer, a propeller dealer for the French company Duke um, here in Florida. We did an installation today, not on a Viking engine, which is kind of a first, because we're now also installing these propellers on different kinds of airplanes. A uh, customer came in, propeller had been delivered, beautiful, beautiful workmanship, uh, lightweight spinner with a white gel coat on it, and uh, very lightweight uh, blades from the Flash 3 Duke propeller. Uh, Duke, by the way, just opened up a uh, distribution center in Sebring, Florida, and uh, Viking is a recognized dealer for them and selling propellers all over the United States and Canada. Uh, take a look at the initial run-up that we did with this Rotex-powered aircraft as it arrived in Edgewater, Florida this morning, and uh, pay attention to the initial run-up and the RPM documentation that was done in order to determine what the static RPM on the aircraft was before we started working on it. Here we're going to be installing the uh, Rotax bushings, which happen to be the same as the Viking uh, lugs or bushings, uh, propeller bushings, that have to go into the propeller hub itself. And you can see we made a little tool to pull these uh, lugs into the propeller hub because they were missing from the previous propeller installation. In this next clip, you can see that we are adding the uh, propeller spacer. Now, the propeller spacer was missing from the package from the Duke factory because there was a little bit of confusion about the thickness and so forth. Um, being a Duke dealer, Viking is stocked with propeller bushings, with spacers, with the ability to modify the spacer for different lengths. Uh, and this was the case in, in uh, this installation. We needed a 20 millimeter spacer. Uh, only a two inch wide spacer was available. So we put it on the mill and we modified it and we were able to get the customer what he wanted as far as spacing between the spinner and the cowling. So we have replaced the propeller now with a dupe. We do a first Flip startup. Up. All right, so we got an installation of a dupe propeller on a Rotax engine at Viking Aircraft Engines. And taking it up for a test flight.
nice quiet Duke propeller. Huh? Can you check? Good performance. All right. So, Andy, how is it? It's phenomenal. I uh, so I took a bunch of pictures. I could only get just under fifty five hundred straight and level. Okay. But I don't know if I'm upset with that because give I mean, you a heck my numbers, of a climb. My numbers were way high. I was okay. doing at fifty four hundred RPM. I was doing one hundred twenty nine true airspeed. All right. So that was a kind of a good day. We did a lot of stuff here at Viking. Everything from making cowlings, cowling molds, installing propellers, doing propeller balancing, talking to customers, watching a nice plane uh, arrive and uh, depart. Had a lot of interesting people visit during the day. Uh, exciting and very much uh, life worth living when you can do all this kind of aviation stuff. Uh, as I spoke to uh, Alyssa with, uh, uh, about today over dinner, we're lucky to have you guys out there supporting us uh, with our hard work to try to make the Viking engine and also the people that we believe in, like the Duke propellers, being successful and enhance the performance of aircraft, not just with RPM and fuel burn, but also with smoothness and quietness and all that. And as you can see, if you follow this video closely, you saw uh, uh, Mr. Martin uh, announce in the beginning that he was happy with 108 knots uh, <clears throat> and then uh, with a peak output with the previous performance of the propeller of 114, maybe 116. But then at the end, uh, after flying even, you know, the, the initial flight without even any fine tuning with his uh, Duke propeller, he was up at 129, 130. So there was a huge difference in performance just from improving the propeller that he was flying behind with the same engine and nothing else changed. So that makes us happy, makes us excited. And uh, as far as the, the Duke Propeller Company, yeah, it's another company. Uh, Viking is a company, Rotex is a company. We're all companies. But when you see actual performance gain, uh, actual perf uh, efficiency gains, uh, customer is excited and happy about his, uh, his aircraft and, uh, and just flying. And, and uh, uh, you know, I don't know too much exactly about this particular Checkmate airplane, uh, but just changing the propeller and seeing uh, that he was excited about it and then he could uh, be proud of uh, flying something that was uh, already a very efficient airplane with three to four gallons an hour doing over 110 knots and then jumping up to 130 knots uh, not burning any more fuel just shows the performance of the Duke propeller and more importantly the uh, advancements that are continuously taking place in aviation with the direct injected Viking engines, uh, with the new Rotax engines, uh, and with these propellers. So uh, if you need a propeller, uh, Duke propeller, uh, Viking is an authorized uh, distributor. Uh, if you have a Rotax, you got whatever, a UL, you got, you got a Viking, uh, you want to have it changed, stop by Viking, we'll help you out.